Hey guys, Henry here from Product Creation Formula. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to edit a PLR sales page. But before we go ahead and do that, I just want to let you know, here at Product Creation Formula, we love to give you tips and tricks to be able to help you create your products quickly and easily. Along with that, we also do product reviews, as well as tips on how to make money online. So if that's the sort of thing that interests you, how about you smash that like button, as well as subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can be notified whenever we upload more videos. So, okay guys, let's go check it out. Okay, now the other day, I asked you guys when I did a community post, whether or not you would like to see me edit a PLR sales page. And the results were quite surprising. 96% of you that voted said, actually, yes, that would be something I would watch. Okay, so for that reason, I have decided to create this video. Now, there's a two-part thing to this. You see, with editing PLR sales pages, you've got two ways in which you can do it. Uh, but today, we're going to be showing you the free and what I would consider easy way. And then we'll go show you a little bit more complicated way tomorrow, which will give you more detail on how to do it. And you might prefer to do it the second way primarily because it's a way that you will be able to make it uniquely yours. Okay, so the first thing you'll need to do is download something called Blue Griffin. Now, Blue Griffin is an open source uh, editor, but it also has some paid features if you want to go for it. And all we need to do is go there like that. Go to Blue Griffin and you can have a quick look at their website. Now, as I said, you can decide to buy it if you wish to, and you can pay it in euros to buy a single license, which is 75 euros, and it gives you the full functionality of what you're going to be needing. But this is, in fact, the free version in which I'm using, and this will be all you need for today. And you can download this free of charge. And all you need to do really is go over here to the what's inside and it will download. You can just download it from here. You can choose for Windows or, or your Ubuntu or for, for Mac. And they do say you need to have 64 bit and it goes as far back as Windows 7, 8 and also 10. So these are your options. So my suggestion would be go download this free of charge and let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is to go looking for a file. Now I'm just going to go here. I'm going to hit open here, open, and then all of a sudden it's going to open this area up here. So I'm going to choose a file. So by clicking here, it'll allow me to go to where I am storing some files. Now I already have this one here that ready to go. It's an index HTML file. Now remembering, this is an HTML editor. Now, HTML editors allow you to be able to edit website pages. Now, when you have one downloaded from a PLR store, this is the sort of one you will get. And it will usually be an HTML file. Now, you can use this where you can directly start editing in this actual area itself. Now, what I plan on doing right now is looking at how we can maybe change some of this around. I've already got some text in which I want to use and I want to use this as this section here. So let's just bring that up and I'll be right back. Now what I've done here is I used Writer to create this copy for me. So I'm going to be using this part just here. I'm going to copy that and I'm going to be placing that right in this section just here. So I'm going to copy over the top of this and place it straight in there by going control V. And as you can see, it is done. Now, what I'm also going to do is I'm going now going to grab that back and we're going to continue on. I'm going to grab this, copy that and just place this straight in to here. As you can see, it's a WYSIWYG editor, which means what you see is what you get. WYSIWYG. Now let's go Control V. And I have personally created these high quality PLR packages for you to use on your blog, website, membership site, lead magnet, etc. So you can do this and use some of it on those sort of sites. So what I'm going to be doing here is grabbing 
some more information in a moment. This one is actually going to be left alone in this specific video training course. I might get rid of the word specific. Now the best part about this is this is really, really easy to edit. It's like editing a Word document. It is that easy. Now you'll have to maybe look at getting some images and so forth. And obviously if you want to insert images, you go to the insert section and you can insert images. You can put links in things here. You can add anchor text, which will allow you to go down the page to a certain area. You can also link any of your, if you have a button, say for example, down here, you have an order button, you can link your button in this. Say for example, you have a button that goes to PayPal. You can use this area here to do that. And you can put your PayPal button here and you have it open in a new tab, a new window, and you can add this here. This is an email. You make a URL relative to a location, and you can then add this right here. And you can just place whatever tag you have, and you can go directly in that section there, and then that will open up to whatever sales page, or should I say, that will open up to whatever payment process that you have decided to use. Okay, so if say for example, let's go through and edit some of this. Let's say for example, you've got a table like this. This is a really, really simple thing to edit. You click on the actual dotted line because the dotted lines will in fact be clear. You won't see those dotted lines. What you do is you click on this section just here go over here to tables then you go down here to table properties and you click on that now what will happen is it'll open this up and it says it's got eight rows now let's just assume that you have a course that you have created and you want to have and you say for example have 13 videos in that course you can in fact increase the table to 13 and then you can hit OK and we can scroll down and as you can see, it has added these areas just here. Another thing you can do is just right click on that. I've, I've left clicked just then, now I've right clicked and I'm going to be copying this and I'm going to go into that table just there and I'm going to go control V. And I can do that all the way through just to show all the different points. Now let's say for example, I want to keep the same formatting as what they have here. And what you can do is just highlight over the top of all of this, copy it and paste it directly in this section just here. And it will look exactly the same and you can just change it with the video number and make it more specific to your actual website. And when you do that, it'll just make it much better for you and it'll make it easier for you to edit. As I said before, you can actually edit the images right here and you can get rid of those images and replace them with other images by going over here to insert and you can enter your image now let's say for example you would like to enter a video and you'd like to have a video come up just underneath here all you really need to do is go to where you want to add the video let's say for example you want to add it here what i normally do is i add a whole bunch of x's just there now the reason I do that is primarily because it gives me a placeholder as to where I'm going to be doing it. Now, I will now highlight over the top of all of those and then I'll go to the source code. And by doing that, it'll help me to be able to find it quickly and easily. So when I go down, I'll actually be able to find it. There it is. They're already highlighted right there. So if I had a video that I would like to put in there, Let's quickly go grab one of my videos and I'll be right back. I'll just pause the video while I do that. Okay, so here we are at YouTube. Now I've just decided that I'm going to grab this particular one here. So just going to hit share and I'll grab my video right here. I'll just grab the source code by going the embed code. And then I'm just going to grab all of this code and pop it straight in or I can just hit copy I'll just hit copy that'll be probably the easiest way of doing it and let's go back to Blue Griffin and where that is highlighted you make sure you highlight over the top of that area again whoops it easy 
it's easy enough to do just go back to the WYSIWYG editor and now you see that's highlighted you can go back to the source code and it'll take you straight there so all we need to do is make sure we highlight over the top of that just the X's everything inside these boxes just here so everything just the X's on their own then we go control V and we have literally just pasted the video right where we want it you may or may not see it at this particular point oh there we are you can see it and then all you need to do is you might want to save this so let's say for example you want to save it I'm just going to go here I'm going to be saving this as I'm going to choose the same location and I'm going to change the name a little bit and call this index 2 so as we don't get confused with in the original index HTML so we can just save that now as index 2 and when we go back to that page let's now open that index 2 up and have a quick look at what that actually looks like and there we have index 2 so let's just open that up and that should by rights open in Chrome but I'm going to make sure it does by going over here I'm going to have it open with and we're going to go to Chrome so we're just going to go there and let it open up in Chrome and we'll have a quick look at what it looks like and here you have it as you can see it has got the video that you can play hey guys Henry here from product and there it is all right now as you can see this is in fact how you would do it now all you need to do at this particular point is to upload this into your hosting company now to do that that is a completely separate video all on its own and because there's a lot more involved in doing that but in this particular one I'm just going to be showing you how to edit it using Blue Griffin okay guys it's now joke time one man says to his friend who's munching on an apple you know an apple a day keeps a doctor away his friend looks at him completely horrified and says are you insane? What if there's a medical emergency? <laughs> Alright guys, if you like this video, please consider smashing the like button as well as subscribing and hitting the bell icon so you can be notified whenever we upload more videos. Hey, while you're at it, why not consider sharing and also leave a comment down below and let me know if you would like to learn how to upload this site into your hosting company. Alright guys, thanks for watching and bye for now. Now, over here is a video I believe you might actually like. And down here is a video that YouTube is going to recommend for you. Now also, over here where the round circle of my head is, you, that is a button that you can click to be able to subscribe.